find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Today, it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Detroit Lions and the Minnesota Vikings. Detroit's offense ready to take over. making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. And he's gonna be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Shoot up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage and they're clearing space. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Goff now looks to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Goff now looking to throw. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. From the gun, here's Goff. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Again, golf. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. 
Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Patterson's kick is good, and the Lions are going to take a 3 nothing lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. now as they line up and kick this one away. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing Cousins. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. Third and 19, no problem, as they're able to convert. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. The tackle there by Malcolm Rodriguez. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now Cousins. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and now we've got a third and three. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Here's Madison running on first down. 
It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Play action now. Cousins. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 21. 23 yards to pick up there. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. From the 21, it's second and 10. To throw, Cousins. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Running from the shotgun with Madison, and they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pickup of three. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. From the gun, here's Cousins. And he wisely will throw that one away. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Fourth down, field goal try coming. So Cousins is off, and on comes Greg Joseph for Minnesota. The kick by Joseph is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. But I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you gotta like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas. Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting up field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third. Golf. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jones. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Golf. This complete to Jones. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Montgomery back to the ground. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Play action. It's gone. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. These two teams all tied after one. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with fourth down and one. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. That's to his running back complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Tracy Walker in on the tackle. Well, both teams practice this situation, and this time the guys on offense won and in a very nice way. What a run from that position on their own goal line. Gave him some good breathing room. I wonder now, do you still stack the line of scrimmage or do you play normal defense? They may have backed him off with that run. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Now Cousins. 
And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Alex Anzalone in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. And here's Ryan right now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. Forty yards on the punt, two on the return. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and ten. And Detroit getting set to go now. the gun Montgomery and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up they suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them and boy were they right that defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down the last run got a couple here second and eight a shotgun snap for gone Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. The Lions on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Out of the gun. Gone. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and 10, golf. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. On second down, Montgomery. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now, that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Marcus Davenport brought him down, the UTSA product. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And the nimble footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. A gain of eight there on the play. And now we've got a third and four. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. To throw is gone. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline. But out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Patterson's kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So another good job defensively because they've allowed three trips into the red zone, but only the two field goals. Yeah, that's the bend but don't break, isn't it? And they really didn't get broken at all because if you're running off the field having allowed two field goals and three trips in the red zone, you've actually come out ahead. Yeah, flip it over to the other side. The offense, they'll hope to cash in for six next trip. 
I got you, baby. Let's go do this thing, baby. Let's go. Let's ride, dog. Let's go. What's the deal, y'all? Get him going, baby. Once again, we got to get it to prison, B. I'm trying to take it to the... So all field goals so far, 6-3 our score as the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 27, Cousins. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Play fake, Cousins. This goes out wide for Madison. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They go play action. Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the red zone now, Cousins. Eluding the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle, reset, and try something different. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll throw again. Cousins over the middle complete. It's Osborne. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One-handed. Love the effort. Not much production on that play, though, huh? Not a whole lot of yardage. You get that grab, you probably want a first down. And he'll be the one in the film session. If he said, hey, run that one back, coach. Yeah. Run that one back. One more time. Let's see that Two again. More time. And they won't. Eight more time. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And that will force a turnover on downs. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. 47 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. 
when he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. To throw once more on second and 10. Goff got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, here's Goff. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now Goff on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. And so it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. Golf. And Jones has it over the middle. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 44-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. And off comes to Montgomery. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. <laughs> On first down, it's gone. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gibbs. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. On first down, gone. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. He's at the 40, 20. And he will take this 
one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Goff now looking to throw. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Golf. He finds his man complete. It's Gibbs. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. First down throw, golf. Throw left side complete. That's Gibbs. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So we've reached halftime here in Minnesota with the Vikings on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. Out come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense. Pick it up five, which means defensively, 
the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll go Madison up the middle. And this will be a Vikings first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Complete, Jefferson the target. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. From the gun, here's Cousins. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the handoff, it's Madison. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now a give to Madison. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Throwing, Cousins. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings! Kirk Cousins on the connection to Justin Jefferson. And the Vikings take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally the haymaker to put that drive away.
Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here. and Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Goff now looks to throw. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Goff now to throw. And he'll just get rid of it. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now gone. A slant to Jones. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 21. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. Even with the good move he showed, he'll be brought down short of the 15. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. From the 17, golf is complete to Jones. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw is gone. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. Touchdown! Josh Reynolds from 10 yards out, and the Lions are back within a score. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done.
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. On play action, Cousins. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. A second down throw for Cousins. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll get this to the 32. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Going to run with Madison again. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On third down, Cousins. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Call. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. A give. This is Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 
You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's Goff. He finds his man complete. It's Gibbs. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third down and 12. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense, it's really kind of geared to stop that play. Your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. From the 30 on second down, Cousins. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Cousins. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. On first and 10, Goff. And Jones has it over the middle. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do. But what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Montgomery on the counter. 
Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. Looking downfield for Jones. And that is incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. From the gun, here's Goff. He finds his man complete. That's Gibbs. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Goff on third down. And that is incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They go play action. Cousins. Throw caught there by Osborne. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. To throw, Cousins. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now Cousins. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Cousins now. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And he's going to get this down near the 25. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? They'll run with Madison. 60 yards on the ground for him so far. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. 
no better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second down, this is Madison. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. No, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Joseph's got it. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Joseph now to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So out now come the Lions. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10. At their own 22. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Another carry for their leader, and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Now it's gone. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's caught at the 25. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. On the ground, it's Montgomery. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Golf. His throw caught right around the six. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Montgomery is in for a Lions touchdown. But just power football there down near the goal line. 
Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. A very important extra point there. Up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Lions have recovered. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Now Goff on first down. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Vikings are right back in this football game. Cousins now to throw on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Meanwhile, Cousins throw taken in by Hawkinson here. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Cousins now from the 50. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Cousins. Oh, he forces one there into potential daggers. It's intercepted. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. First down. Here's the run to Montgomery. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. 
Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Now it's golf. And he's got it. And he's brought down. Ten yards is the pickup there, and that should just about put a bow on this one. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Goff with a kneel down here, and that should put a conclusion to this one. They knew how to quiet this rival stadium, Charles. I mean, not only did they get the win, but they get the win by taking the lead in the fourth quarter to hand their division opponent a big loss. And they're elated, and they should be, because they did exactly that. Went to a rival's house and stunned them, and did it with a fourth quarter comeback. And every team in the league prides itself on controlling the fourth quarter. It's even more difficult when you don't do it at home against a division rival.